Hey, hey, and welcome back to the Phyllis Fam Baby Journey to my loyal subscribers and to y'all newbies. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the family. Today, I am going to be telling you if this Discovery Strolling Wagon from Radio Flyer is worth your coins, all right? So keep watching. I'm going to let you know um, how it maneuvers, how it folds up, how easy it is to assemble, um, all the stuff you want to know. So just keep watching. Let me give you a little backstory on why I need this wagon. I have a three-year-old that's about to turn four next week and a one-year-old that's going to be two in three weeks. And whenever I put my almost two-year-old in my quick and easy to <laughs> assemble umbrella stroller, because you know those take two seconds to put up, my almost four-year-old gets jealous and she wants to get in the stroller, but only one person can sit in that stroller, girl, okay? Um, and so it turns into a whole situation. And yeah, I have a double stroller, but that double stroller is too cumbersome sometimes for like quick runs because it's three pieces, because it's modular. I can make it for one person, I can make it for two kids, but it's three pieces. So I gotta, you know, take that out, put on the front seat, put on the back seat. And don't nobody got time for all that just to run in for a quick little errand. Um, so I was like, all right, maybe I'll get this because it looked like it's, you know, super easy. Like I just gotta, you know, take out the trunk open it up like I do my umbrella shoulder and put the kids in and be be out so that's what I'm hoping it's gonna be um, I ordered this off of Amazon with my own coins it cost me $179 not with the tax um, so there's a couple different versions of this so if you can see on this one this has canopies on it that was very important to me because I live in Texas and it'd be hot baby and I cannot have my kids burning up and getting sunburned because they don't have no type of protection when I'm out, you know, and about with those kids. Um, so this version, the canopies, you know, basically they're attached always. Well, they they can be taken off, but they're easier to assemble because there's another kind where there's like four telescoping poles and you gotta, you know, open up the canopy and put it on there. Too much. I'm lazy. I like simple. So I went with this one. The other one was cheaper, but this one was the move. And they also have even cheaper versions that don't have canopies at all so your kids just get you know burnt up like bacon on the sidewalk cooking or something um i think that's like 119 dollars or something along those lines but this particular model i was only able to find it um on walmart you cannot get this off amazon you cannot get this at target i did see it on some other sites like ebay and some stuff i wasn't familiar with but we wasn't trying to get scammed or be waiting 80 days to get it in the mail I ordered this on Thursday, yesterday, and I got it today, Friday, one day, less than 24 hours ago, this arrived at my doorstep. So Walmart trying to, bravo, give Amazon a run for their money, because that's a whole nother video, because I canceled my Amazon Prime, and I'm going to let y'all know about that situation and the money I've saved since. But anyway, let's get into this. I'm already super impressed because this looks like it's going to take me all of 10 minutes to put together and I love easy. I mean literally it's just the four wheels, the pull handle, the push handle, and the canopies in the wagon. I'm going to time myself and let y'all know how long it took me. wagon together however keep in mind i was shooting a youtube video so i'm turning the camera on and all trying to get different angles and i lost the screw for a moment but if none of that happened i'm sure i can get this put together in 10 minutes if i read the instructions beforehand instead of just reading the instructions as i went <laughs> um but let me show you some of the features of this wagon as to why i also decided to pick it So in addition to the sunshade situation here, this can also turn into a seated bench. The weight limit 
women is supposed to be 150 pounds, and I weigh a little bit more than that, but for my kids, if we out and about someplace, they can sit like this instead of having to no face each other. You know, we still got these handy dandy sunshades. They have five point harnesses to keep them in the seat safely. And the fact that I can adjust this. can push it and it's very easy to maneuver I was skeptical about ordering this because of the wheels they are made of plastic not rubber um, so I was afraid of how this would move on services that were not paved um, but I'm on grass and I'm pushing this with one hand able to turn it all type of different ways with no issues it glides like butter baby we have a little small storage pocket. You can't put much in there. And a couple water bottle or cup holders. Um, this does not offer a ton of storage. But that's not why I got this. I got this to transport my kids. I mean, I can, you know, put a, a bag or something in here like my purse. Maybe one of their backpacks or something. But this is mainly to transport the kids. And it is so lightweight. This stroller probably weighs about 10 pounds. Like, I can lift this easily with one hand. So when I'm taking stuff in and out of my trunk, I won't feel like, oh my God, I gotta lift this heavy clunk of a wagon because it is super lightweight. The brake on here is super easy to use. It's currently stopped, so I can't roll it. You know, but I can lift it up with my foot, push it, press it down to the click, and we're back locked again. But what you really want to know is how fast can I break this stroller down and how fast can I set it up? Let's see. That took me... 30 seconds or less, I'm pretty sure. I know you all want to know how much space will this take up in your vehicle? I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee, so we're about to go ahead and put it in here. These sun visors can come all the way off. And they can store in that little pocket that I showed you. Gonna undo the safety at the bottom. And there's still plenty of space for whatever else I need to transport. Overall, I'm gonna give this stroller a nine out of 10 because it's red. Um, the kids are gonna have their feet in there and I don't see a way to easily wash this material. Um, but other than that, it maneuvers smoothly. The handle, if you let it go, it won't drop and hit your toe because um, there's like a mechanism that kind of makes it stiff. And I think it may be, maybe even a magnet in there that keeps it up um, against the wagon when it's not in use. Um, the sunshades, I mean, that right there, it should sell anybody on this particular stroller. The fact that it is a stroller and a wagon because there's going to be certain situations where it's going to be easier to push versus pulling um the bench seating there's so many perks about this the five point harness to keep those kids up in there they're not going to get out um the smooth gliding yeah so go ahead spend the coins on it it's worth it and you're going to still have all this space in your vehicle like, it's not going to take up everything. Like, look at all the space I still have up in here. I'm amazed. And I gave you my honest review. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you're not already a fan of the channel, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see you back here again real soon.